processing has been expanded to national interest waiver green cards. Um, what this means is that the I-140, which is the first part of the case, the petition to prove that you, you deserve a green card in the national interest, um, we can expedite that through a process known as premium processing. Um, EB1As could always be premium processed, the extraordinary ability green cards, but the national interest waiver green cards could not be. Previously, these cases were taking 12, 18, 24 months, and as a result, it turned a lot of people off um, process, you know, filing these, and, and we would, would maybe look to the EB1A, which is a higher standard, um, versus the national interest waiver, but now we have premium processing. Now, the premium processing timeline is a little bit longer. It's a 45-day time frame for adjudication of the first part, and not the 15-day that you see in the EB1A, um, but it's still, I mean, 45 days is much better than 48 months um, or like 24 months, maybe not 48, but like two years. Um, so you do have to pay, of course, because it's a premium service. So you're paying for the adjudication in a prompter manner, but it's great that it's an option for people.